Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Code Possibility. In this video, we will see how to use Terraform to create an AWS S3 bucket, upload static web files and configure the bucket as a static website. Here, we have already activated AWS profile. We will start by creating a new folder and Terraform files within it. I'm going to create a folder named Terraform underscore S3 underscore hosting. I'm going to create the Terraform files, main.tf, variables.tf, terraform.tfvars, and output.tf files. I'm going to open in Visual Studio Code Editor. We'll start writing main.tf file. We'll write the Terraform module. required providers AWS source equal to HashiCorp HashiCorp slash AWS version anything greater than 4.0 which will pick the latest 4.0 version we'll initialize the provider aws and also the region here we will externalize the region name into the variables terraform file we'll create a variable named aws region and I'll write a small description for that. And I will initialize the type to be string. And then I will initialize the variable name AWS region in terraform.tfvars. AWS region equal to US East 1, with, which is North Virginia region. I'll go back to the main.tf file and set the new variable to region var.aws region. Once we have initialized all these required providers, we will run the terraform init command. Terraform init has completed successfully by installing the AWS provider plugin which we have initialized in main.tf file. We'll then head back to main.tf file and start creating the resources. First, we need to create an AWS S3 bucket resource. AWS underscore S3 underscore bucket. And we name it as a hosting bucket. And we will name the bucket bucket equal to similar to aws region we will also initialize the bucket name as a variable we will go to the variables.tf file variable bucket underscore name i will set the description to be name of the bucket and then you mention the type to be string and then I will initialize the variable name bucket name in terraform tf vars file bucket name to be cp web hosting bucket. This bucket name has to be unique across AWS. We now go back to main.tf file and initialize the bucket name to be var.bucket name. We have now created a resource for S3 bucket which we can provision by running terraform plan and apply command. We'll go to the command prompt and run terraform plan. As you can see, the plan is to add one resource to add, zero to change and zero to destroy. We will now run terraform apply. I will type yes. The terraform apply command has completed successfully and it has applied the configuration successfully by creating one resource which is creating a new s3 bucket 
we can check whether the test 3 bucket has been created successfully or not by running the aws s3 ls command with grep bucket name the bucket is been listing so it has been created successfully now we will continue with main.tf file by configuring the bucket to make it as a static website for that we need to create a new resource aws s3 bucket acl aws underscore s3 underscore bucket underscore acl and we name it as hosting bucket acl here we reference the bucket to be aws s3 hosting bucket dot id and the acl to be public iphone read and then we define the bucket policy resource aws s3 bucket underscore policy hosting bucket underscore policy we'll reference the bucket aws s3 bucket hosting bucket dot id and we'll define the policy attribute here we will be using json encode to encode the actual json policy string i am going to paste the json policy file which defines the statement allowing the action s3 get object on the resource which i have just created for everyone which means we are allowing a public access and then we are proceeding with creating a resource for aws s3 bucket website configuration resource aws underscore s3 underscore bucket website configuration which i am going to name it as hosting bucket website configuration i'm going to reference the bucket aws s3 bucket hosting bucket dot id and then i'm going to mention the index document to be index.html which we have to use suffix attribute to mention it and with this we are completing the terraform files or terraform script for configuring the cre created bucket as a static website we will now have to create a resource for uploading the static web files to the bucket which we have just created before writing the resource component we will create a new folder web here where we will create the web website resources first i will create index.html have created index.html file with a single paragraph tag in the body for the purpose of this demonstration i will also create css file and js file main.css and main.js file now i will head back to main.tf file now we will need to create the resource for uploading these files created within web folder for uploading files recursively we will use the module template files which is developed by hashicorp which i will mention here module template underscore files i will mention the source path of this module I mentioned the base directory from which this template file should pick files from. Slash web. So 
this template underscore files module will pick all the files from the base directory slash web. We'll now to the end of this file and start writing the AWS S3 object resource. AWS S3 underscore object resource hosting bucket files. I will reference the bucket which we will be hosting to and then I will write for each module dot template underscore files dot files. This will pick every files from the folder web. Key is equal to each dot key content underscore type is equal to each dot value dot content underscore type source each dot value dot source underscore path content is equal to each dot value dot content e tag each dot value dot digest dot md file with this we have created the resource aws s3 object which will be iterating through the all files under the folder web and upload it to s3 bucket with the proper content type set we will now go back to the command prompt to run terraform plan and apply commands Okay, we have added the template files module which has to be initialized. So we need to run the terraform init command again, which will download and install. Here it has installed successfully. We will now run terraform plan. Yes, there is no error in the script, but before applying, we will also print the website URL which will be created or configured by AWS S3 in the output.tf file. In the output.tf file, we will print the website URL description URL of the website. Value would be AWS underscore s3 bucket con website configuration dot website endpoint this will print to the url of the website we will go back to the command prompt to run terraform plan and apply you can see six new resource to be added zero change and zero to destroy we will run terraform apply we will type yes the terraform apply command has completed successfully by creating all the six new resources and also printed the website url which we can test by running the curl command we will copy this url We will prefix with HTTP colon slash slash. As you can see, the HTML content of index.html file is being printed here, which means all the configuration and script has been successfully executed. As a teardown of this exercise, we will run Terraform destroy to clean up the resources which we have just created. Terraform destroy. As you can see, the plan seven to destroy, seven resources to destroy. I will type yes. The Terraform destroy has been completed successfully. Hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching.